Woodsmith Magazine, we built a cool baby cradle. Part of making the cradle were a set of turned pins that held the cradle to the stand. Now, in the magazine, we talked about making those using a lathe and just turning them to the right shape. Now, if you don't have a lathe, though, you're not out of luck. You can do the same functions and get the job done right here at the table saw. What you need is a simple jig. Now, the jig that we have here has a base and a fence that gets clamped to your miter gauge. Now, on there are th three braces that have a hole drilled in them that hole is going to accept a long blank that you'll get the pins out of. Now what you want to do is size the blank and then turn it into an octagon shape by cutting bevels on the edges so that the blank fits easily but a little snug in the holes. That's going to, the holes will hold the blank in place and allow you to rotate the blank by hand and turn it into a round shape using a dado blade installed in the table saw. So what I'm going to do is show you how to first create a round blank and then create the two stepped profiles to complete the pin. The first step is to create a round pin. To do that, set the rip fence for the length of the pin. Then raise the blade high enough so that you can create just enough of a round pin as you rotate the pin blank across the blade. You'll need to do this in several passes. To create the two stepped portions, what you'll do is raise the dado blade a little bit higher, in this case about a sixteenth of an inch. Then reset the rip fence to create a small cap on the end of the pin. Just like before, push the workpiece into the dado blade and then rotate it all the way through to create the first stepped profile. For the final step, you'll need to reset the rip fence and leaving the dado blade at the same height, cut the stem of the pin to its final diameter. Again, you'll have to do this in two passes. Then it's just a matter of cutting the pin to the final length.